Hi, Lou here to talk about the pros and cons of the two major methods of generating characters in role-playing games. The first method, the classic method, is rolling dice. Usually d6, sometimes something else like percentage dice. There are various ways to do this. For example, some of the old methods were roll 3d6 for each ability number in, in a specific order. Or roll 3d6 and change the order as desired. Or roll 4d6 and drop the lowest die. And then you might be able to change the order or not, and so forth. The other method, which I believe has been devised independently by several people, including myself, I had an article for my system published a long time ago, is point by, now used in 5th edition D&D. You receive a number of points to buy ability numbers. The lowest numbers are going to be very cheap. For example, if you're on a 3 to 18 scale and you buy a 3, it might just cost you one point. The highest are very dear, so if you want an 18, it's going to cost you maybe 10 points. So you decide what you want where and allocate until you run out of points. So what are the pros of rolling the dice? Well, first of all, and primarily, variety. You get lots of different kinds of dice rolls. It's always exciting to roll dice, isn't it? That's another thing. Realism, you get a big variation in numbers. So you get some threes. In fact, you get as many threes as 18s in some methods. So you have the opportunity to play characters with, quote, cripplingly bad, unquote, ability numbers. Though a player can take bad numbers using point by methods if they want to. And again, variety. What are the pros of point by? Well, it's very fair. No one need be envious of someone who either one rolled high or two rolled many characters and picked the best. It prevents the typical new character with sky high abilities. It prevents cheating. So the player has to supply the skill, not rely on bonuses from big numbers. Of course, the GM can choose the number of points available, so he can give generally higher or lower numbers on average as he chooses or she. So what are the cons of rolling a dice? Well, it's unfair, in the long run especially. A player can get big advantages lasting for years through, throughout the campaign just by getting lucky in the first dice rolls. This can be frustrating to those who didn't get lucky. Perhaps even more, rolling dice encourages cheating. I've seen people roll one character after another until they get one they like, meaning lots of high numbers. And then they take that to a game to use. What are the cons of point by? Well, it lacks variety. For a particular class, the numbers tend to be the same. It's not exciting, it's cerebral, and that's all I can think of. Now, I'm biased in favor of point by, Having invented it independently, it's clean, fair, and simple. Thanks for listening.